Women with early stage breast cancer are often given chemotherapy to make sure that their cancer won't come back. But many of them don't need it. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us of a genetic test that can get the job done. Dr. Max. That's right, Maurice and Christine. The reason many women with early stage breast cancer were getting chemo was because there was no really good way to tell which cancers were likely to recur and needed chemo and which were cured with just surgery, radiation, and hormonal therapy. A new study says a genetic test can now give us that information. Ann Louise Pupolo was diagnosed with early stage breast cancer five years ago. I really wanted to make the best decision on behalf of my health. In the past, doctors might have recommended chemotherapy for Anne Louise, as they did for Helen Burns. I lost my hair around the second treatment, and that was devastating. It was really hard, you know, and then you start to puff up from all the other medications. But a study in the New England Journal of Medicine finds that a gene activity test called Oncotype DX helps assess the risk of whether her cancer would come back. These tests give a recurrent score. Those with a low score, 0 to 10, accurately identifies which women with early stage breast cancer can safely skip chemotherapy. Even though they did not get chemotherapy, this large group of women did very well. The recurrence risk was less than 2% through five years of follow-up. The study involved more than 10,000 women with the most common type of breast cancer, early stage, estrogen receptor positive, and no lymph nodes involved. And the numbers are wonderful. Their survival rates are excellent. So it, it's comforting to know that we are doing the right thing. Many breast cancer oncologists have already been using the test to forego chemo for very low scores and definitely give chemo for high scores. But almost half of early stage breast cancers fall into an intermediate score. And further studies are being done to try to answer which of those women can also bypass chemo, like Anne Louise. My risk for reoccurrence um, without chemotherapy was relatively low, and so why burden myself and my body? Now, for now, women with an intermediate score will have to decide, with their doctor's guidance, whether to get chemo based on other factors, such as what the tumor looks like under the microscope and for personal reasons. The test typically costs around $4,000, and many insurance companies do, in fact, cover it. But so far, for those with the low score, it's good news. They can sure avoid is. chemo. Yeah. You bet. Thank, Thank you, you Dr. Dr. Max.